Electric dipoles are a pair of point charges, a positive point charge and a negative point charge. And the feed lines are shown coming out of plus Q and going into minus Q. So cumulatively, we have the electric feed lines going from plus Q to minus Q. The electric dipole moment is shown in direction of minus Q to plus Q by convention. We would have seen electric feed lines drawn around the dipole which are very similar to the magnetic field lines and we will go ahead and understand what do these electric field lines signify. We consider a unit positive charge along the electric field line and since plus Q and this unit positive charge will repel each other the direction of the force on the unit positive charge is as shown here it is outward and also the minus q will attract this unit positive charge and therefore that's a direction of the force and since this is a unit positive charge we can consider these directions to be the directions of the electric field also notice that the size of this electric field is larger compared to this because plus Q is closer to this unit positive charge compared to minus Q. So we find the resultant electric field from these two forces by adding the two vectors together. And notice that the direction of the electric field is tangent to the electrical field line here. We now consider another point charge on the electric field line and like previously we draw the forces on this unit positive charge and find the resultant electric field. Let's consider a unit positive charge here on the electric field line and we will draw the forces on it from plus Q and minus Q and also the net electric field and what we find is that the magnitude of the electric field here appears identical to the magnitude here and the magnitude of electric field here. In fact if we put a unit positive charge anywhere along the path of the electric field line it will experience the same magnitude of force along all the points on the path. So what changes is the direction of the force, but the magnitude of force remains identical. We form a very important conclusion and that is that the magnitude of electric field along the entire path of the electric field line remains constant. Now we consider a unit positive charge on an electrical field line vertically above the one which we are looking at so far and we draw the forces on this unit positive charge from the plus Q and the minus Q point charge. And what we find is that the force on this particular charge from plus Q is smaller compared to here because the distance is now more. And similarly the force from minus Q is smaller and therefore the net electrical field on this unit positive charge here is smaller compared to what we had seen here. We now take a unit positive charge on the electrical field line below this electrical field line and we draw the forces on it from plus Q and minus Q and because the distance is smaller compared to what we saw here the forces on it are stronger and therefore the electrical field is stronger. So what we find is that as the distance from plus Q and minus Q increases, the electrical field keeps reducing or the electrical field lines which are further away experience a smaller magnitude of electrical field compared to the ones which are closer to plus Q and minus Q. As a special case, we will try to find the generalized value of E on the perpendicular bisector of plus Q and minus Q. So we consider the forces on a point charge uh, as shown here. 
and uh, we try and find the x and y component of these forces now since this positive charge unit positive charge is equidistant from plus q and minus q and also plus q is equal to minus q these two forces have the same magnitude so the y components will balance each other out and the x components will give us the value of e and after some mathematical operation we find the generalized value of e as shown here i hope you found it useful thanks for watching